Okay, so we have a lot to talk about today. With the Boruto time skip ever so slowly approaching, there's something I really wanted to talk about and that's the new tailed beasts, possibly even plural. Before I talk about how and when we're gonna see them, I wanted to go over a quick little history lesson on what exactly are the tailed beasts and how we obtain them so we can more clearly explain how we encounter new ones. But first of all, be sure to drop a sub because I get severe diarrhea when you don't subscribe. So I'm sure you're all familiar with the Shippuden story of how Kaguya came to Earth, um, ate the divine tree, obtained chakra you know her kids were born chakra and she ended up merging with the tree to fight against Hagoromo and Hamra which we all know resulted in the ten tails then we discover that Hagoromo actually split this chakra into nine tailed beasts while Hamra had the husk of the beast on the moon okay now that we're all caught up in the Boruto manga we also discover some new things we discovered that there's actually way more Otsutsukis we find out that they typically travel in pairs I mean even before this was mentioned it was a common narrative to see Otsutsukis together in pairs such as the brothers Hagoromo and Hamra and even Indra and but anyways, the goal of the Otsuskis is to go from planet to planet, cultivate a divine tree, gain more power, and devour the life of the planet. This was stated multiple times by Ishiki, stating that this is the Otsuski will, and it was also stated by Amado in his explanations to the Leafs. Okay, so you might be wondering, what's my point? Well, first of all, Kaguya's partner was Ishiki, and their goal was to plant a divine tree on Earth. According to Amado, the plan actually failed, and Kaguya betrayed Ishiki. Now, the reason why she betrayed Ishiki is actually most likely because the ten tails is a seedling for the divine tree as stated by Amato and she must be sacrificed and eaten in order for the ten tails to actually turn into the divine tree but no shut up shut up, shut up, shut up. Let, let me finish talking so anyways this might seem like a small revelation but it actually hugely impacts the story and might potentially even have a greater revelation for, in the future than the tailed beasts themselves so basically it wouldn't really make sense for Kaguya to be the one who planted the divine tree on earth that she ate from because she literally had to betray Ishiki to not enact that plan now this means that she she either sacrificed part of herself to the tailed beasts or she sacrificed part of Ishiki to the ten tails which does seem pretty plausible based on the fact that Jigen continuously gave the ten tails part of his chakra and also potentially based on the fact that in some flashback images associated with Amato's explanation we do see Ishiki missing his legs but there's a third explanation which actually might be the most plausible of them all and this could be that the planet was previously invaded by separate Otsuskis that we've never seen before. I'll explain why this is more likely in a second. Also for those who say that you can grow a divine tree without sacrificing an Otsutsuki. Uh, you're wrong. Amato states this in Boruto chapter 51 that this is the only way the ten tails can turn into the divine tree and the number one reason why the Otsutsuki travel in pairs. Again, the ten tails is a seedling. The seedling must eat the Otsutsuki and be planted in the ground and it turns into a divine tree. That's the only way we can actually get to a divine tree. Now, a way to justify the fact that we see multiple divine trees is that it seems like Otsutsukis can actually invade planets multiple times as in the anime, you know, Momoshiki and Kichiki are on a planet with several divine trees and now now that we know that a divine tree is essentially an Otsuski and a Tentails combined, it couldn't have been them to plant those because obviously there's only the two of them and we don't see any other Otsuskis with them besides Urashiki, you know, in the manga or in the anime. We also see some manga panels during Amato's explanation in Konoha where we see a planet with multiple of these and on top of that, Ishiki also does state that they have been doing this for thousands of years so there's a chance that they might just enter a planet, suck the life out of it, leave, let it recover, then come back for a second bite. That's kind of what I'm assuming here. This also implies that there's a number of ten tails, right? And much, much older Otsuskis that may be rooted even deeper in Earth's past than Hagoromo and Kaguya. All right, with that out of the way, let's kind of dive into the next tailed beast. First of all, we know that the ten tails is a species, and we know it's abundant enough for the Otsuskis to bring them on virtually every visit. Uh, we also know that there's currently another directly involved in the story right now with Code, and he wants to sacrifice Boruto and Kawaki to it. Now, this means that we could see a new ten tails Jinchuriki, but obviously, eventually, Code might be defeated, and the ten tails could possibly remain. If this is the case, the ten tails could be split by using the creation of all things technique used by Hagoromo Otsuki. Now, who do we know that actually has this ability? Naruto. He was shown to have this ability after Hagoromo gave him part of his chakra, and he was able to restore Kakashi's eye immediately after. And it does seem like that power was somewhat linked to Kuruma's chakra, but it was not necessarily confirmed to be the case. And if he has any residual chakra, he should be able to do this. I mean, some people may be wondering that he immediately lost it after the war. Um, I have a video talking about this, but I don't necessarily think that he lost it. Even if he did lose some, I think it might have been a slower process, and I don't think it really hindered him that much anyways. The main reason that I hear people saying that he does not have it is that he didn't restore his arm or Sasuke's arm. I think that the main reason for this is, first of all, he did get his arm restored, and Sasuke chose not to have his arm restored. He definitely could have, the same way that Naruto did, even if Naruto didn't restore his, but he chose to stay without his arm more as a cost for his atonement. Um, even if he couldn't, we still have Boruto and Ishiki who have the power of more powerful Otsutsukis than Hagoromo or even Kaguya.
Magia. And we also have Toneri on the moon, who may be relevant later on the story. Now again, we don't know if any of these Otsutsukis have this power, and they all seem to have some pretty unique powers, but some of them do recycle some powers, like the Renegon, we see that in, in the Byakugan, we do see that in pretty much every Otsutsuki. So there, there's a potential for them to have an ability similar to this that just has not been used. I also feel as though this all kind of goes to show that we could potentially see some more Tail Beasts in the future. Now this leaves me with two questions. The first one is, would the Tail Beasts actually be a mirror image of the ones made by Hagoromo, or would they be different representations of the chakra depending on how they're distributed? Um, like for example, we did actually see a separate avatar than any of the Tailed Beasts, uh, which was a bunny one, while Kaguya was in control of the chakra of the Tailed Beasts, and she had that manifestation in the war arc. Or could we even see maybe a different one, like in the non-canonical movie, The Road to Ninja, where we see Menma and his separate masked beast avatars. So this is definitely a possibility, and I feel like it would make a little bit more sense if you're trying to, you know, expand upon the board to lore. You're trying to include new characters. I, it wouldn't really make sense for it to be the same, but if they were the same avatar, I'm assuming that they would still be separate entities, right? Kind of like twins who are outwardly identical, but pretty different on the inside, you know, pretty different personalities. Like, for example, if we did see another Kurama, or Kurama, however, people would be making fun of me for, for how I say that. If we do see another Nine Tails, I, I think it would probably be a different one, and I don't know if you would actually go back in Naruto, because obviously the story's moving forward, but then again, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below, and what topics you guys want me to cover next. If you actually want more information on the different versions of Kurama, Sarada's Mangiko Sharingan, and more, be sure to subscribe, as I already have videos on those, as well as join our ever-growing Discord server, and I'll catch you in the next one.